Hey, what's up guys? It's Ben. Just want to welcome you real quick. Uh, it is raining outside. I don't know if you can hear. And what's best to do on a rainy day than to just to stay home and play some games. And that's what we're going to do today. The game you're looking at is called Tiny Guardian. It just came out about two days ago. It is available on uh, Android and iOS for $3. Uh, no, that's $3.99. And uh, yeah, it is a tower defense game, but with a twist like the developers mentioned that twist being that there are no towers to defend so what are we gonna be defending then you may be asking yourself well we'll check that out in a second of course likes and comments are much much appreciated and just in case you haven't yet make sure to hit that subscribe button So we're playing Lunely who is a summoner and she's looking for her missing aunt and we need to get her there safely and uh, we will get to summon many uh, sorts of or types of guardians to, uh, to uh, help her on her way there. And let me get something out of the way, I am loving the design, I am loving the colors, it just looks really good. And with that being said, we're going to be summoning our first unit, which is going to be a knight, and let's hit that start game button. Okay. And we are, we are attacking our first enemy unit. Those dogs? No, Dire Wall. Hello Game of Thrones fans! Can't wait for the second episode later on tonight. It's gonna be epic. I know it. And I know you know it as well. And uh, unit positioning you just saw on your screen uh, was maybe the first strategical step of the game. So you gotta know where to position your units based on where the enemies, what type of uh, enemies are coming in which way and what type of units you're gonna be using to to defend, uh, to defend your hero or your summoner. So that's that's a, that's kind of the concept. So if you're not familiar with the tower defense games, there you go. Okay, so uh, uh, the wave timer seems like the earlier you can attack a group of enemies, and the further they are from the Lunally, uh, the faster or the more stars you can get. Those stars, of course, are uh, you can use them after each level to upgrade your units, etc, etc. And we are facing our second group of enemies. This is not looking good guys, because uh, seems like way too many. Two more Tire Wolves, I guess that's their uh, leader. Gen creates an area that heals your party. All right, so uh, we can uh, cast spells, or this is basically a, a, a. Let me see. Okay, so it's a healing circle for your party, for uh, Lunali and for every unit that you have summoned so far. Let's go ahead and attack that uh, second group or third group. I can't. I can't keep count anymore. Too many dire walls. And uh, if you are a tower defense fan, let me know in the comment section what are your favorite tower defense games. For my part, uh, this is definitely look. This one is definitely looking to become one of my favorites. Uh, but uh, so far, there is Clash of Clans and Kingdom Rush. They are way high up on that list. Okay, we got rid of those wolves. Let's uh, heal our hero and unit real quick. And hey, there looks like there is a new enemy. Those cowboys. They don't look like cowboys. Maybe a bit. Bandits. There you go. And as I'm sure you guys know it already, on this YouTube channel, we have zero tolerance for bandits. So we're going to kick their asses like we did 
and like we do in each and every game. He just has a little bit of health left. There you go. Well, of course, when once you knock, uh, knock out enemies, you can collect. Sometimes you collect stars. Sometimes you collect mana that you can use to um, cast spells, etc. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but the game is uh, playable offline, which is uh, always nice to know. It looks like uh, we're gonna be... This looks like uh, an ambush. We are being ambushed. This is not good news, guys. This is not good news, but we're gonna try anyways. We're gonna try. But it seems like the death of me. I just know it. Uh, I don't, we, we ain't making this. We're not gonna make it. No! So we just skipped forward and I saved you guys uh, the two or three times that I've died in the same spot over and over again. Uh, not realizing that I could and that I should um, uh, summon a second unit, which is the Archer, your senior, and your screen right now. Ben, duh! So, uh, <laughs> everything in life is a learning process, right? Why shouldn't this be as well? I think we're done with the level. So once you reach that purple circle, that is the end of each level. Did we get three stars? Yes, we did. We do get the three stars. And, uh... I'm just gonna show you guys real quick the map of the game as well as what units you can uh, summon later on or further down the road as well as what kind of upgrades you can do for the units. So to upgrade your units you use the stars that you collect by completing each level. Right now I just uh, upgraded the uh, stamina of my warrior units. There is a total of 12 units that you can summon with 4 upgradable levels each. Um, each level in the campaign has a story mode and a challenge mode and uh, with a lot of enemies, boss fights and so on and so on. There is a lot of things to do in this game to keep you busy. Pretty fun game. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section and that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section as well. If my voice sounds weird, that's because I have a flu. Yep, it happens. Uh, you can also check out some of my other videos and if you haven't yet, I would love to have you subscribe and keep playing.